hi what is up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel this is me starting off i guess uh what i'm calling blissmas i don't know if that is a very good name but that's what we're going with because i don't have any other ideas <laughs> so essentially my plan is is to do vlogmas i have always seen all these other influencers do it and i thought it would be really fun um to kind of film most of my december and kind of challenge myself to do anything this month i would really like to see if i could film uh and edit on a quicker basis and if i can then you know nothing's really stopping me from being consistent on youtube also ignore the acne i just don't <laughs> today is just not this is not it for me um it is a no bones day if you guys understand this reference, I didn't even know what No Bones was, but this is, I'm, I'm a Gen Zer now. Yeah, so I was thinking of probably like uploading every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And so um, for the Wednesday, for December 1st, I'll hopefully have this video up. And so I'm gonna film two days before and then hopefully have that edited and then put up. I think that's like the system I'm aiming for. If that doesn't work, I'll let you know, but this is me, this is the real me. And you guys get to see that and it's so jolly good. So anyway, um, I just found like this little tiny little bug in one of my yarns. Um, my life is over. I think I'm like on the verge of tears. No, I'm kidding. I'm not, I'm, I mean, I am, I'm not, but like I am, but like I'm not, you know? So I'm a little worried about my yarn. I've been putting them into like little bags. Um, I don't know if you can see. Oh, this is, I, like, it is not good, is all I can say. So, you are going to join me in filling up random, any sort of plastic bags I can find and just putting yarn into them. Um, my acrylic is fine, but everything else is on the verge of dying. So I'm gonna sift through some of the yarns. Actually, I'm probably gonna sift through it all because I'm so paranoid right now. Um, but also, totally unrelated, I'm actually blocking a sweater. Look at how cute she is. I've worn this guy a couple of times, so when I washed it, it was low-key dirty and I was shooketh. But I'm really excited. This was the guy that was infected. I separated them all, put them in a Ziploc bag. I was moving some of these because um, there's actually holes in these bags because they're not meant for storing yarn. They're for like clothing. I just like never really threw them away. And I thought it'd be useful to use to protect my yarn. So I'm just gonna isolate this guy forever, kind of check up on it. <laughs> once in a while um in case there's like larva in it so hopefully we can survive this yeah but like as you can see i've kind of just been moving them into these <laughs> very temporary i have like these luggage bag zipper things you know like you you put them into your luggage so then you can like keep more things uh, more organized. I need to figure out where to put my cones. I have sealed up all the holes for these guys. Um, I ended up putting my mystery bag stuff in these things because they were out in the open and I got really scared. And then all this bottom stuff is just acrylic. I have no idea what I'm going to do with these guys. We will, we, will, we will see. I really don't have any time for this, but here we are. Um, this is the <laughs> the wool by um we are knitters i'm just gonna make like this really cute 
um, pillowcase thing that I saw. It's by Debrasse. Uh, I talked about her in my previous video, but I think I can make it really quick. So this is just, I'm just starting. We'll see how fast I can get in like the next maybe 30 minutes. I think that's a good time frame. Just cause I feel like I need to start using up the yarn that's in my stash. I think I'm getting like a little worried just keeping them On the shelf so we're gonna try to quickly use up some of the stuff I have I just showered and changed just for you guys. <laughs> Usually I wear the same sweater, uh, which is probably really messed up, but um, my life is not together currently. <laughs> um, also, does anyone ever eat cereal at night? Because I do all the time. And then afterwards I pray that I become a morning person. <laughs> I'm such like a night owl, it's horrendous. When I was in school, I would wake up at 8.30 every morning, and now since there's no like, since there's no more school, I'm just waking up at like 10, 11, going to bed at two, you know, just the perfect lifestyle. I finished this guy just now. <laughs> Probably took me maybe like an hour and a half, um, which is, crazy I forgot how fast crochet was um, I had to I had um, you're supposed to use like a pillowcase but I only had like stuffing so it's a little wonky I don't know if you can tell but we like it it's soft it's cute this is what I wanted to use it for and I gotta do it so I'm probably just gonna put this on like one of my chairs over there just have it like nice and pretty and cute and fun it's crazy though you can see it's already the fluff like, come on okay i don't even know what's happening with me but i keep starting like little projects because they're so exciting to finish even though i have so many just like laying around everywhere i started um um i started the ruffle sock by petite knit uh it is oh it's really cute. Like, I have realized that I say cute all the time. I say like adorable. I say everything that is not interesting. I have horrible descriptions of anything, but this guy is just cute. What can I say? Um, also, if anyone else has it like where it kind of folds up, like the ruffle, I've been trying to push it down a bit more, but she really do be testing me. I also, wait, I'll show you. Oh my goodness. You guys are gonna be so bored for the, like, this month, for December's podcast because I'm gonna have shown you all of my progress, but hopefully you guys will like it. Um, here, oh, <laughs> you can't even tell what it, this is. Um, I couldn't help myself so I started the winter clutch even though she said she was doing a knit along for December 1st I got carried away I don't know what happened but it was so fun to knit um I don't have the handlebar yet so I'm waiting on that and then I'll like sew it in but everything else I have is knit so it is this beautiful um, shoot, what is it called? I think it's like the slip, garter slip stitch or something. Um, she says it on, it's like on her pattern list if you want to go see it, but really simple. 
I am so excited <laughs> to use this. I really wanted to, I think I just had a vision. I saw this dress on Instagram and I was like, oh, I could wear that with like a clutch. And I think it would be so beautiful because I'm going to a wedding. I think I've said this before a hundred times. I think I'm just like a broken record at this point, but I really want to do that. Uh, and that's why I've been trying to get into sewing. So I've been like reading up bit more looking on youtube trying to figure out like things that i need my family already has a sewing machine so i was thinking like maybe i could invest in like a serger um and then if i find that like i'm really really into like sewing i might then buy a sewing machine or do i do both i don't know it's a lot of money but i think it'd be so fun i just think everything's gonna be so fun but like i don't really think about the consequences of things that are fun you know like I don't even want to talk to you guys about what happened Black Friday <laughs> I love that this is just me confessing to you guys um, about all the things that I'm doing um, but yes I bought some stuff on sale um, at my local yarn shop I guess I'm, I'm just gonna tell you and then we can open oh oh maybe maybe like it'll come and then I can tell you guys what I got um, but okay I didn't buy that much but I did buy from my local yarn store there was Noro on sale it like was double discounted it was like 50% off so I was just like hey this is it you know like <laughs> I just will stop once January hits and I won't buy any more yarn this is it for me so I got some Noro which I'm really excited about because like no, I feel like normal just doesn't really go on sale and then I went on like this whole rabbit hole and like If you go to like yarns.com like there's a bunch of normal stuff on sale and I was thinking of getting those things But I was like Tiffany you don't need to spend more money especially since um, My insect problem. I'm like worried that I have too many just like yarn sitting about like I should really be honing in on making things um, So we'll get well, we're, we're getting there hopefully and slowly yeah, and then, okay, yeah, and then we were talking about me wanting to start all these, like, different hobbies. Um, I was on Wool Warehouse, just, like, casually looking, and there was, like, there's this cross-stitch set that I've been eyeing, and it's been on sale for a really, a really, really long time, and there was one left, and I was like, oh, why do I fall? It's just because, like, every time I, I like, will get to it, I'll, like I'll check back on it and then every time I check and then it's gone I'm like really disappointed so nowadays I'm just like you know what if this is like a last chance kind of moment just like do it um so I got it I'm really excited to make it we're ready for it I also bought a bunch of patterns as well <laughs> like sewing patterns because they're all on sale like they're like 50% off anyway Okay, today is the 30th. I have put makeup on because we're going to do this. I'm gonna keep track of this with my camera that I'm gonna get ready. Uh, is it 1 p.m.? Yeah. But we're getting ready and that's all that matters. And I woke up at 11 today. And is that okay? Yes, so. Um, I'm wearing a dark lip. I got um, Sephora was having their Black Friday sale and uh, There's this lipstick that I'm in love with. I like love it so much No one cares literally no one cares um, But it is Latte by Anastasia Beverly Hills um, It's half off. So I mean come on. I just wanted to test it out and I think it's cute so today I think we are going to continue cleaning my room if you guys didn't see I put um, the yarn that was infiltrated um, in a freezer um, because that is what I've been told if you put it in like a ziploc bag uh, it'll kill like the larva and the eggs if there's any and I couldn't really see so I wanted to be careful um, and yeah so we're gonna get changed because I can't be wearing like this is like my this is my uniform dude we got we got sweatshirt sweatpants that's it yeah so this is the fit today I'm wearing my newly blocked cardigan it looks way better than it did before 
Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there used to be like a crinkle here because uh, the collar was slightly, like the tension was slightly tighter than the actual um, sweater portion. So I just stretched it out a little bit and now there's no creases. It looks straight and beautiful. We like it a lot. These pants are, ow. Uh, these pants are from ThreadUp and I'm just wearing like a t-shirt and I think I look gorgeous. And all my jewelry is Anna Luisa. So uh, we're gonna look cute today because I can. Next on the list, I think we will be cleaning. That's just about it. I, I guess I can show you guys the mess, but do you really want to see it? No. Um, it was way worse before, <laughs> but I'm just watching um, Adam McIntyre because he's a god and mess. We don't even want to talk about that. And then if you can see, I am just a mess. Like I've been sleeping with my knits like this. So hopefully I can get it together. So I've been cleaning for like an hour and it feels like I haven't made any like progress. So I think a goal for this month is hopefully the handle will come, but I want to make, um, I need to start sewing some lining into these guys because they kind of have just been sitting around and it's been really annoying me. Same with this purse. Oh, I need to make linings for these. That is a goal of mine to start doing if I can, if not, I will. Nothing. I don't know why I keep making like ultimatums like, oh, if I don't do this, then this will happen because nothing will happen if I don't do it. Nothing like <laughs> uh, anyway, I just got a package. The one I was just talking to you guys about, I, I, I'm really keeping you guys up to date, which I think is really funny. I girl, I did not deserve this. We really did spoil ourselves. So this is Noro Tenen. Again, I'll be showing this in the podcast, so if you guys are okay with that, <laughs> if you guys are okay with me just um, being super redundant, um, I hope that is okay, but this is ya boy. I got it in the color wood. It was 50% off. I think it was like $13. How can I go wrong? Some good Noro. I saw this girl um, on Ravelry. She made, not with this color, but with Noro Tenon. Uh, she made the Stockholm v-neck sweater, so, no, slipover, so I'm probably gonna do that um, with these three skeins, and I think I will look gorgeous in it. I just, I don't know why, but I've been on this weird, like, Noro binge. I've been looking at some of their really colorful pieces. They just look really good as, like, vests or, like, really funky sweaters, like, sweater cardigans, so I've been on the lookout looking for some of the colors I want, but I haven't found many since it's so hard um next stuff that i got oh she came unraveled i'm gonna have to tie these a bit more uh this is noro kumo this one looks the best <laughs> it's just like this weird kind of i don't know how to explain it but it's really nice i was thinking of maybe making the cuneless tea with this I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm being a little odd, but uh, I just really like the kind of natural colors of these. I, I think getting more kind of neutral, weird stuff is fun. I am very excited. This was $10. Like, they're usually like tw like 20 Okay, we need to ravel this guy a little bit better. Sorry, I'm just gonna... I just don't like that it's so not structured. I also love twirling them, it's so fun. Like look, beautiful. Okay, and then the last Noro I got, also, I am so glad I got it because I went back on the website and they're all gone, so I did good. This one was a wild ball, but it is the Noro Geshi, Noro Geshi 
Um, this is, oh, sorry. This one was in the color A. No, color 20. I don't know what this was called, but that's the one I got. This one is color seven. It is just this really funky kind of, I thought it was more muted. The other Geshi ones were like, the other one I was contemplating was the pink one, but the pink one just seemed like not up my style. I'm thinking maybe doing like, like a cropped long sleeve moment. Again, with my moments, I think it would just look really nice uh, with these three different, with like these different shades. Um, I think it'd be really fun. Um, so, oh, oh my gosh, I'm all gnarled out here. I'm in love. I'm literally in love. Um, I probably won't mix any of them with any mohair just cause I gotta save my mohair for other things. So yeah, that is the haul. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot. I also got, cause I wanted free shipping cause I'm a weirdo. I got these miniature and I didn't realize they were this miniature. Um, Habu Textiles, it is their kid mo- no, not kid mohair. Yeah, it's their kid mohair. They are tiny. I was under the impression that they were going to be a lot larger. Um, but it says that there's 300 meters in it. So that's why I bought them because I was like, okay, maybe it'll have a lot. So maybe if I wind it, it'll- bounce back but they were also half off so I was like might as well uh, I mean at least it makes storage easy but like <laughs> worried that I just spent a lot of money on these if my lips look darker it's because I just tried on the other lipstick I got um I, I think you can tell I'm into the browns so um it's funny showcasing the my I guess my thought process is throughout the day um, and showcasing it, but I hope y'all don't get mad at me. I am gonna try to make, oh, I just got this pattern on the uh, Debrasse site. It is on sale or it was on sale. So your girl got it. I'm just gonna wind up some yarn that I feel like would go great with it. It is the, Audine Mole Mellow is bulky, so I'm just gonna wind it and see if it's workable. <gasps> oh, it's so soft though. This is the progress I've made. It's not a lot, but I didn't really want to do too much. Probably gonna work on this other main project that I have that I'm gonna be posting on Friday. So I thought to just sign off so I can have enough time to edit this video and post for tomorrow. We shall see. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. I think this is gonna turn out well. I don't think I have enough yarn though. Now looking at it, but I'm probably just gonna use some extra knit crate yarn that I have. I'm filling it up with, I didn't show you guys last time, but for some reason my mom just has like a whole garbage bag full of just like stuffing. So we should make more stuffing stuff. Stuffing stuff? We should be making more stuffies. How am I gonna make like a stuffy with this? Honestly, maybe I'll change my mind because I wanted to make the thistle. You know what? Now I'm gonna look it up now. Okay, I'm just looking at how much yarn it needs. No, okay, yeah. This is bulky weight. It calls for Aran weight, so we don't, we ain't gonna test it. Or should we? I don't know. I don't know, now I'm thinking that this should be a stuffy. We're gonna think about this until tomorrow. Hopefully you guys can let me know. Should I? Oh, Okay, anyway. Okay, but I don't need it. I don't need that. I don't need a rabbit. Okay, anyway, I'm so sorry. Um, I will see you guys hopefully in the next one. Uh, thank you for joining me along for Blissmas. Blissmas, Blissmas 1. Um, but yeah, um, 
I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It's getting late and I have to shower. So, um, see you guys in the next one. Bye.